Hi there everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here. I was kind of surprised to see I have some new subscribers so hi there. I just wanted to give you a heads up and give those who are subscribers who are actually still subscribed to me just a bit of a heads up of where I am, what I am doing, where this YouTube channel is going or won't be going and just a general chit chat. So number one, I am Catherine known by Kath, by those who know me. And I have since changed my YouTube channel name to Kath Walden. I never kind of felt comfortable with what's up with Catherine. I also wasn't comfortable with what I was trying to create myself to be. I am a Christian author. I've written three books. And when I started my YouTube channel, the main reason why I started it was to have a place where I could put into playlist form a short video to accompany every chapter in every book. If you haven't got my books yet, I will send you them for free in PDF format. If you would prefer to have a physical copy uh, or a Kindle version, you'll have to go to Amazon and purchase them there. Um, I can't send you those. Uh, but for, for free, contact me. Just go to my website, katherinewalden.com and go to the About Us and you'll find my contact form there. What is this ministry all about, I think, is what it's called. You'll find it in the menu area of the website. I am not going to be returning to YouTube to do things like vlogs, product reviews, chit chats, live streams, uh, anything like that. And there's a couple of reasons why. The main reason why is because it took me so long to edit those. And as you know, those who know me, and even when you watch this little bit, you'll see I've got a bit of a speech impediment. And that speech impediment got much worse the longer I was doing YouTube because my stress went out of the roof as I was editing myself and having to cut and cut and cut. And the more that I was editing, the worse my speech impediment became. Came. And so now um, I'm doing a heck of a lot of Zooms. Why am I doing a lot of Zooms? I'm in full-time ministry school right now. And that is keeping me busy. I'm on summer break. Uh, this ministry school, I am learning so much. Uh, I, We are going through the Bible. We are learning how to read the Bible for ourselves. We're learning how to s study the Bible. We are learning all the resources that are out there to do a really good Bible scholar. Now, if one of my friends is here, I'm not going to call him out. No, we're not getting into Greek and Hebrew. Uh, thank goodness uh, for me personally. But we are given re resources that we can find to find out all that information in unbiased format both online and in reference books. My bookcase is starting to look like I'm really learning stuff because um, I've got really thick books. Some of the books that we are using or that we were encouraged to use are books that are pretty standard for anybody who is, is, is studying to be in ministry. Uh, Bible backgrounds, uh, Bible um, dictionaries, uh, concordances, and that kind of thing. Uh, not as much commentaries, because commentaries are good, but when we rely on somebody else to get all the good nuggets out of something, we can kind of get lazy. And that's where I had become. And I have discovered I'm actually enjoying um, reading through the Bible and gleaning stuff for myself. Uh, but we've got to dig into the word for ourselves too. Because those wise people who write all those Bibles as a study guides and all that kind of stuff, they had to learn the stuff before they could share it. Just saying. Okay. 
on another tangent along with the Bible as a person talking to you somebody some of you guys have known for quite a while please do not rely solely on your app on your smartphone or on your Kindle or on your computer if you don't already have a copy of a real Bible uh, I guess you could put it that way, but a, a standard translation like New King James, ESV, NASB, um, I'm trying to think of other ones along that line, get yourself a copy, buy it, physical, you've got to lift it up, you get weight training when you do it, you know, get yourself a copy of a real Bible and uh, get yourself a pen and paper and start jotting stuff down as you're reading it. Paraphrases are great, like the message and the passion and um, the good news, and there's a few others like that. Uh, when you read passages of the Bible that you don't quite get, reading them in other places is kind of a fun thing to do because it can kind of jostle you into understanding a little bit more about the passage but don't rely on them to be your everyday bible just a heads up another heads up some of the platforms that people have created their apps on that a lot of us use um, on our smartphones when it comes to the Bible, some of those platform creation places are owned by companies who are looking at relegating the Bible as hate speech. And if they do that, that means those platforms, those apps are going to go bye-bye unless that app hires a whole lot of people to create their own platform for their app and that requires a lot of money because you need to pay these people to be able to do that because they need to feed their kids and pay their rent or their mortgage just like the rest of us so there's what that heads up is so what am i up to i am doing a weekly Zoom call every Monday at 5.30 p.m. And it began to be kind of like the live chat that we were doing here on Zoom where I discussed what I had written the week before and we had a discussion. Well, we've kind of switched things up recently and what we're doing, um, because some of the people, and me in, included, wanted to dig into the subject of prayer. and. I selfishly want to take advantage of some really cool people who are coming to the Zoom call. People who are extremely um, gifted. We've got people who have been missionaries for decades who are Zooming in. We've got people from all sorts of backgrounds. We've got people who have mentored many others. And we've got people just like you and me who like to learn and this is encouraging guys and there's no dumb questions that can ever be asked in the group um, it's a safe group you never have to wonder if somebody's reading the chat afterwards to try to get some inside scoop or to mock you or whatever none of that ever takes place it really is a safe place and we're learning lots, but we're also praying for each other. And it's really kind of neat to see what God is doing. So how do you get involved with the Zoom call? Message me on Facebook with your email address if you haven't done so. Or you can go to my website and use my contact form, which is on uh, the About Me page, which is titled in the menu, What's This Ministry All About? And you can find out more there. When you message me, I will send you a one-time link for the Zoom call because I pay a subscription for Zoom. The address is never going to change. Keep that address. If you happen to lose it, 
just e email me and I can send it to you. But I've decided I'm no longer going to be sending out a weekly reminder because I kind of was sensing people were just being nice and uh, they perhaps weren't as interested as uh, they thought I hoped that they would be. Uh, so if you want to be part of the Zoom call, uh, check your emails if you've sent it to me already. And if not, just contact me. I'm also posting daily Christian quotes every day on Facebook in the Daily Christian Quote group. And you're very welcome to join. There is absolutely no obligation for you to do anything there but read the quote. Uh, we've started to have a few discussions there, which has been kind of fun. And uh, because and then there's a Daily Christian Quote website. Uh, you can no longer sign up for a daily email from there because Google is stopping that platform uh, from me being able to use it. And I can't really afford to start a mail, mailing list that I would have to pay for, uh, considering the number of people who'd want to be part of that list. So if you got any questions, just feel free to contact me. I'm an open book. Um, honestly, I really am. And I'm not sure I mentioned Instagram. I'm Kath Walden IG. No longer is there a what's up Catherine anywhere on the internet. I'm just back to being little old me. And I love you guys. And uh, I hope to see you in other places. You might see me comment on an occasional shared subscription on YouTube, uh, but I've really, really cut back on YouTube for just because life has moved me on. But life has not moved me on from the heart connections I've made here.